Okay, hey guys, it's day 41, I mean day 4 of <laughs> Fathom iCast, and uh, yeah, we're feeling pretty good. We're, we're back. The show. It's been super, super crazy, we're real back. busy. A lot of questions about, hey, what's up with uh, the new billfish stuff? Mm -hmm. So Here we are. Here we are, we got a whole Marley. table full. So we're, start us off, Andy. Uh, so, you know, kind of our bread and butter when we started the company was our large big game trolling lures. It's kind of our first product we started with. Um, and it's something we take a lot of pride in. We make it here by hand from start to finish, from the insert all the way through the skirt, casting of the head. Every little bit of this is done in our facility here uh, in North Carolina. So we're super proud of it and want to kind of just show you a couple things um, and just talk a little bit of marlin fishing. So um, our number one lure by far when people ask us, what's, what's the one lure if you got to have on the boat? Uh, it, it's going to be this one in my opinion. Everyone's got a different opinion, but this is our Pepple Grande Alive. Um, and it's, it's by far... Uh, in my opinion, our top producing lure. Um, we sell a lot of them. We get a lot of really good feedback, but it does change from year to year. Uh, you know, we get th this year, um, the mohead chugger medium has been super popular. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like the mohead has been a really tried and true lure too. We've sold a ton of those over the years. We just had a, a guy send us a picture two days ago. He caught a big marlin on one. I like the medium range, like when we're putting together a marlin spread. So. I, my go-to is the calico medium and the mohead medium. Both of those pull really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like the bill collector. That's this little flathead. This is in the large category. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but I like it because you can put it anywhere. So it can kind of fit into the spread anywhere you want to put it. Uh, this one has a lot of kick to it because it's got this little bubble to the head here. It's still a plunger shape, so it's going to come up, ride the wave a little bit, come back down. So it's got a lot of action. Um, you know, we've been putting a lot of time and effort into some new shapes lately and in some new colors. Uh, this is one of my favorites here. Uh, Andy came up with that one last year, but we just now released it. What's, what's up with that one? Yeah, so this is our Tinker Mackerel. Uh, one of the big things when it comes to our Marlin spreads is what, what they can kind of say, match the hatch. Match uh, the hatch. That's you hear that a lot. And that's, so that's basically trying to match your lures to <clears throat> a particular action or color of a bait fish that Marlin are typically feeding on. So uh, maybe one of the reasons why this has been such a popular lure and it's been so well received is the fact that it looks a lot like a Mahi, whereas this looks a lot more like a Tinker Mackerel. Uh, and then we have what we call our liquid squid, which looks a lot like a squid color. So, um, yeah, trying to make sure that we've got colorways that uh, are either super high in contrast, um, have some UVs or glows, or match a particular bait fish that marlin are feeding on have been super important. Yeah, and since we make all of it in-house, I mean, we got some customers in Florida that order two or three specific colors. We right. got customers in New York that order their two or three specific colors. Yeah. So we can just about match anything for your area. And, you know, going from that size range there, I'd, I'd consider that like a teaser size range. And then we go into like our actual teaser. So mm -hmm. we have a lot of new uh, squid chains that we've started to offer. Yep. Uh, we've got 7 inch, 9 inch, and those are our 12 inch squid there. And we do these, these are our kind of a pre-rigged squid chain. So this is rigged up, ready to go. Just hook it on your teaser lines and you can either, you know, put a lure behind it uh, as a teaser. You could put a flap behind it. Um, we have a number of different flaps in various different colorways. Yeah, so our flaps have been really popular the last couple of years. We make from a 10 inch to a 14 all the way up to a 24 inch flap. This one would be something you'd put behind a chain. These would be more like for dredge size, like mm -hmm. the 10s and 14s are really great uh, baits to put on a dredge. And then uh, along with that, we got color matched dredge fish too. So we got yeah. four mm -hmm. pound up to 10 pound in these. Uh, they're rubber coated, keep you from tearing your boat up. Yeah, don't slide around when you uh, have to put them on the deck after pulling the dredge in. Yeah, and uh, we got a ton of just rigging supplies. Like we, you know, we produce all of our skirts in house. We produce all of our hook sets in house. We've got seven alt up to twelve alt yep. in singles and double hook <clears throat> sets. So anything for bill fishing you need trolling wise, we pretty much have yep, it covered. Yeah, we can do it. That's right. Um, well, so that pretty much uh, just gives you a little bit of an idea of what we do Marlin-wise. Obviously, you can reach out to us. We can answer any questions or go a little bit further in depth. And I think we plan on doing that over the course of the next few weeks in different YouTube videos and Instagram, yeah. IGTV stuff. So definitely let us know what you <clears> want to <throat> see. Um, and be sure on this video to tag a couple friends. Uh, make sure you like it and enter for a chance to win kind of one of our uh, Fathom swag bag deals. Uh, everyone knows the whole big thing with iCast free stuff. So we're going to give you right. a chance to get some this year. That's which right. Which is good. So thanks for uh, stopping by, checking us out, and uh, we appreciate it. See you tomorrow.